Welcome back to Summit Sunrise Live. I am joined here with Jen Muto from the Garden, uh, Garden. What is it from again? Summit County Garden Club. We were just talking about how easy that was to remember, and I just lost it right there. Well, she's here to tell us about the garden tour that's going to be going on here soon. So how are you doing this morning, Jen? Good, Chris. How are you? I'm actually great. I'm excited to hear a little bit about this. I'm working on my own gardening at home, so I would love to hear about this and maybe get some ideas from it. So tell us about this garden tour. Yeah, so it's this Saturday, July 22nd. It starts at the Frisco Senior Center in Frisco. It goes from 9 to 3 p.m. When you come into the Senior Center, you can pick up a ticket, your tour booklet, which gives you directions to all of the gardens on the tour. There's about 10 this year. And then you go on the tour. Nice. It's really fun. And you can learn a lot from a lot of the homeowners. So the homeowners all have their own design story, whether the garden is professionally maintained or whether it's maintained by the homeowner. They tell you a lot about their design process, what's worked for them, what hasn't worked for them. That's awesome. So it's more of like a self-guided tour with the map and everything. Exactly. Well, what are the pre proceeds of the tour go towards? So the proceeds go to support the Summit High seniors that are, have an interest in plant science. We do scholarships for those seniors as oh, well as cool. scholarships for some of the HC3 High Country Conservation interns this year at the Greenhouse over in Frisco. Um, we also maintain and manage the Breckenridge Alpine Garden with the proceeds. Oh, wow. Okay. So it goes to quite a few things and it helps out those kiddos with the green thumb already, huh? Exactly. That's very cool. Uh, and then what is the highlight? Like, what is the best home on this tour? Yes, yeah, so there's, there's a bunch. All the gardens are very, very different. One has a living roof, which is really interesting. What? The no, whole process let's of that. talk about that. What's the living roof? So the living roof is like six inches of soil on the roof. And, and this person did it on a shed. And it oh. has a number of different plants growing on the roof. That is far out. And she says it's very low maintenance, but I find that hard to believe. But apparently it is. Okay. It's not a hobbit, right? No. That no sounds hobbits. like a little hobbit <laughs> hole right there. That's really cool. And then where can you get tickets and find out even more information about this event? Yeah, so the tickets are available online at our Eventbrite site. Super easy. Or you can go in person and buy them at Niels Lunsford or Alpine Gardens here in Silverthorne or Remax in Frisco and Breckenridge. Wow, right on. So there's a lot of local shops you can go to and check that out, not to mention online there. So yeah. that's super convenient. And then what gardens are included in the whole tour here? Are there any specific ones that we should be looking out for as yeah, well? Yeah, definitely. So the garden tour this year is on the north side of the county. It's in Frisco, Silverthorne, and Keystone. And there's a number. There's some in Three Peaks. There's one over in Hamilton Creek. There's a few in Frisco and a few in Keystone. Awesome. Is there anything besides that living roof? Is there anything of your favorites in this uh, setup that sticks out? Yeah, I have to say one of my favorites is Ingrid up okay. in Hamilton Creek. She's an amazing view at the very, very top of the Hamilton Creek. And she's an amazing hardscape land, you know, landscape. So it's really pretty amazing. Right on. So it's almost like seeing the best of the best exactly. on this tour as well. That is really exciting. Guys, if you want to check out more, once again, when does it start and where can you get more information? Saturday, July 22nd from 9 to 3, starting at the Frisco Senior Center. And you can buy tickets online at Eventbrite. See, simple as that, guys. And of course, it's going to be pretty beautiful this weekend with moderate Hopefully. temperatures. So shouldn't be too hot out there. Make sure you get up early to get out there and enjoy it. So I want to thank Jen so much for stopping by. Of course, that garden tour, once again, is happening this Saturday in the beautiful high country here. And of course, thank you so much, Jen Muto, for stopping by and letting us know about all this good stuff. Thanks, Chris. And I'd really like to thank our host homeowners and our sponsors especially because without them and all of our summit county garden club volunteers we wouldn't have a garden tour so thanks for everyone who participated this year we really appreciate it yeah thanks again and of course if you're heading out say hi to ingrid while you're out there too <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we've got plenty more great show coming up we'll be right back after these messages